Happy New Year, everyone. I hope that you had a great Christmas holiday. I hope that you are having a great week. Um, as we begin this new year, um, I think that um, we, we realize that a lot of people look at New Year as a time of renewal, as a time to restart, uh, have a fresh start. Um, it's a new year. I mean, 2020 was, it was not the easiest year for a lot of people, myself included, but 2020 is over and we begin a new year, um, a new start. But um, as we begin this new year, I think that um, we should begin with just to remind ourselves what is most important and what we should be doing as Christians, as followers of Jesus. So today we're just going to uh, we're going to refresh our minds on what is most important or what should be most important to us as followers of Jesus, and what should our life look like from a very basic standpoint as a follower of Jesus. So today we're going to be in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, so in the beginning of the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 16. So if you could, if you have your Bible, um, turn there with me, Mark chapter 1, verse 16. And as we start this new year, we really, the Word of God is such a blessing, such a gift to us that we live in a place where we have access to the Bible, that we can... We can dedicate so much time to studying these scriptures, guys and girls. And this this should be studying God's Word daily, having that quiet time that we get along with Him and study His Word and, and to pray. That is of the utmost importance. So make it a priority this year to dive into God's Word, to to pray, to be to pray without ceasing. But today we're going to be in Mark chapter 1, verse 16, and I'm going to read all the way through verse 20. So it's, it's a very short, very short passage, a very short uh, devotional today. But it says in verse 16, it says, this is Jesus. It says, Jesus is passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, and he saw Simon and Andrew, Simon being Peter. And Andrew was the brother of Simon, and he saw them casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. And then in verse 18 it says, And immediately they left their nets and followed him. In verse 19 it says, And going on a little further, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in the boat mending the nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants, and they followed him. So, this is one of my favorite uh, passages in all the Bible. And this account is also in Matthew and Luke as well. And um, But I really, I felt God leading me to read from uh, Mark's account of this today. But this is one of my favorite uh, uh, passages of Scripture, stories in the whole Bible. Because... You look at this, Simon, Peter, and Andrew, and John and James, they were fishermen. That that is their that was their life. That's how they made a living. That was uh I mean, that's how they fed their families. Um, they had probably grown up doing this their whole life. I mean, this was this was part of their identity. They were fishermen. This is how they spent most of their days was fishing. And all of a sudden Jesus comes up to them and he says, Follow me. So this man um, shows up to you and he says, hey, you're out there fishing, you're doing your everyday job. And this man shows up at, um, and he says, hey, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So you're out here fishing for fish, follow me and you'll be fishing for men. So, I mean, and if you think, if you put yourself in their perspective, their shoes, that would, that would be, that would may seem a little confusing. Like, hey, what does it mean to catch me? <laughs> like, what does that even mean? You know, but it says that, and immediately they left their nets and followed him. So Jesus has called Simon and Andrew brothers and James and John brothers, and they immediately left their nets and followed him. Now, you got to think about it. 
that is their profession. That is their whole life. They're fishermen. That's how they. That's how they make their money. That's how they, you know, get food. And this man shows up and says, "Hey, follow me." And what do they do? They forsake everything. They're, this is their whole lives. They're forsaking for the sake of following Jesus. Like this is their whole world. Like they are giving this up to follow Jesus. And what an example this is of what it's like, what it should be like to be a follower of Jesus. This should be just like this. This automatically became the most important thing to them was following Jesus. Likewise, following Jesus should be the most the thing of utmost importance to us. It should become it should come before our family, it should come before our friends, it should come before sports, it should come before our school. It should come before our jobs, our careers, money. It should come before everything. It should be of the utmost importance to us. Just like we get to see Peter and Andrew and James and John give up their whole lives. They said, this is the most important thing to me. And that's so awesome to me that they just gave it up. And it makes me feel convicted because it makes me want to examine my own life and say, have I given up everything for the sake of Jesus? Is there anything that I'm putting before him? So this year, I want us to be like these four men. I want us to make Jesus the foremost, front foremost thing in our lives, that we give up anything that stands in our way from following Him. Whatever that is, examine your life today and ask, is something getting in the way of my relationship with God? Is there something that's hindering me from fully following Jesus? If there is, take some time and pray about it like god allow me to put that put following jesus over that to following you my relationship with you god is more important than that so as we go forward this year let's make this year the year that we put jesus above everything that we pull, put aside everything to follow him and then lastly when jesus says follow me and i will make you become fishers of men so what does that mean? These men are fishers, they're fishermen, so they fish for fish every day, and they sell it or use it to eat. They sell it, that's how they make their living. But Jesus makes you, not only does he change you, does he make you born again, but he makes you born again to be fishers of men. So as a Christian, following him is of the utmost importance, but following him leads to being fishers of men. And we talk about how Jesus commands us to go and make disciples, to preach the gospel to all creation, to, to make his name great, to make his glory known among the nations. So this year, following Jesus at the, uh, in the, as the forefront, the most important thing of our life, Let's make it that. Let's make 2021 the year of putting Jesus above all else if you have not done that. And also becoming fishers of men. Be a fisher of men. Be a, be a fisher woman of women. I mean, you, you're at school. You have friends. You have all these opportunities. Ask God. Say, God, help me to be a fisher of men. Uh, today, show me someone that I can share the good news of Jesus, the gospel message. That just because we are trapped in our sin, that we are dead in our trespasses, God came down as Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, to die on the cross, to bear our sins, to take them away, that we so that we can have a restored relationship with the creator of the universe. And on top of that, Jesus rose from the dead, proving that he is God in the flesh and that he has authority over sin and death. So this year, 2021, we're going to make it the year of putting Jesus above all else and becoming fishers of men and women. So let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much for this day, God. We thank you for Mark chapter 1, verse 16 through 20. We thank you for the example that Peter and Andrew and James and John set, that you called them to yourself, God, through Jesus, that you called them and they gave up everything for your sake, God, that they put you at the 
the top of their priorities, that you became the most important thing to them, God. Allow us to follow that example, to, to make you the most important thing in our life, God. Lord, also allow us to become fishers of men wherever we're at, whether that be at school or the store or the, the football field or the basketball court, wherever. God, just help us to be fishers of men, to preach this gospel, to make your glory known, God. Lord, we forgive you so much for all the times we fail you, and we thank you so much for your grace and your mercy that we don't have to bear your wrath, God, against sin, the punishment against sin, that we can take refuge in the Son, God. We thank you so much for all you've given us, God. Just keep us safe this year. Bless us this year. We thank you so much for your Son. We ask us in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Well, it was good to. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this this quick message. I'm, I still I miss all you guys and girls so much. Uh, hopefully, perfectly, we can get back to meeting sometime soon. I uh, just continue to pray that the coronavirus will uh, cease up and allow us to to meet together soon. Love you guys.